for at være ham jo lige med igen. Min lille søde Britte-dreng Sebastian. Nu kan I se, hvor sød han er. Er han ikke bare sød? Min lille søde Britte-dreng Sebastian. Han er blevet Frittes storebror til en lille Frittes søster. Hun skal hedde Kutte. Men hun er først klar til at flytte fra sin fritimor den 5. maj i år. Ja, jeg har op at 6 o'clock i morgen. Ricky kom ind og sagde, at disse har har blået op vores studio. Fordi det var så stort, at det blev de døre åbent. Joe havde gået til Chicago for en funeral. And it was me and Ricky on the park with the other crew. And Ricky says, I ain't touching nothing until the fire department gets here. And I want to look that. That building where, where the alligators were kept, as well as a, a studio that Joe had, it was clearly an arson. It was a set fire. It had burned so hot, there was nothing left. I dropped to my knees and I cried. I cried because all of our footage was in that studio. And I haven't backed up anything outside the studio. An arsonist hit our facility and set fire to not only my recording studio, but the studio that houses our alligators, which caused them all to burn up and perish, boiling alive in a let's see, boiling alive in an inferno, or a towering inferno, boiling alive in a towering inferno of nothing but flames and fire. For somebody to burn down an alligator house, they gotta be a pretty sick person because they burned up seven of my crocodilians. You have a problem with me? Take it up with me, like a man. Don't burn live in a slam to get your fucking point across. No. We're not really like my animal world. No animal rights people hate us. We get constant threats on the phone. Emails, letters. We're offering a ten thousand dollar reward for information leading to the arrest and the conviction of either this suspect or the people that were involved. If it is tied to any animal rights organization, we are going to double that reward. Carol Baskin, crawl this fence and try and hurt any of my animals again. You can guarantee God damn it, I'm gonna put trap in your ass the first time to make you squirm around on the ground. And then I'm gonna put a bullet right between your fucking eyes. I'm waiting for him to catch Carol Baskin in this because we got emails between her and my producer. She offered him twenty thousand dollars. Wait, wait. She offered who twenty thousand dollars? My producer. To do what? <laughs> to get all the footage and set fire to my studio. No. I had sent Rick Kirk a Facebook message and I said, I think you probably don't know about the person that you're working for. Her intent was to warn him, and we never made him any kind of offer or asked him for anything. I got him on videotape. I swear that's Rick Kirkman walking in front of the video that morning that it burnt down. No, no. I was like, "Never mind." So like, "Fuck." Like, that's why retirement and just burnt. Okay, I have everything invested in that project and no longer exists. Oh, that's the one that I was going to show you. As far as the footage, I don't know who's got it. I suspected Kirkman had taken all his material. I am the one person Joe feared the most because I was shooting everything in his personal life and could take what I saw and with the best of my ability to do it. Some of the greatest people. All kinds of shit on the internet. A racist dude. Some of the greatest people. Og hun er klar til at flytte fra sin mor den 5. maj i år. Hun skal da altså ikke prøve vel, lille Sebastian? Hvis scenario var startet af mig, hvem tror du, at det kunne have været Joe? Fordi når det skete, var han ude af tiden og for en funeral. Hvad er det bedre tid? Nobody would have ever suspected him of calling to have it burned down. A week before the studio burned to the ground, we had 
had gotten into an argument, and he was like, you know, I don't need you. I can go on. And I pulled out our contract. I showed it to him. I said, Joe, when I came here, not only do I own all the reality footage, I own all of your internet footage from the time oh, I came yeah. here after this. What are the best years of filming a reality show? Because they want to do a show related to the <laughs> They actually got it filmed. Good. Mm -hmm. And how are you protecting that? What do you mean? He blew up so bad when I showed him that contract. And he was like, you don't own me. I said, Joe, yeah. actually, I do right now. I do own this show. I do own it. After the studio burned, whether he destroyed it or not, it was gone. I remember walking over and handing the camera to Rinky, and I just said, I'm out of here, man. And he said, yeah, might as well go on home. I got my dog. I, I got my truck. I left everything I own. And I drove. And I left and went back to Dallas. I had a complete nervous breakdown. Mm. I was told by Joe and by Rinky, if you step foot on the park again, we'll have you arrested for trespassing. About the time Joe had a judgment placed on him from a, a, a lady in Florida, some of the items within this file were, were going to be under subpoena. And that was some hard drives and, and some videotape and things like that. And that might have been a motivation to maybe destroy some evidence. He might have shut me up for just a little while. But let me tell you, they have woken a monster. Now Joe Exotic's pissed off. Be sure and get online and help us rebuild the voice of you, the people, to bring Joe Exotic TV back to the air. Was it for the sympathy? Was it for the attention? Oh, yeah. Joe did take advantage of a lot of people. That's why I think the fire of the alligator habitat was a scam. When I first met Joe, we discussed what I would charge him to rebuild at a decent rate. I only charged him $8,000 to rebuild that $120,000 building. He didn't make any money? No. Why does he do it? For the animals. I mean, I got to pet cats that people wasn't even supposed to be putting their hands in around. Five months ago, an arsonist poured enough accelerant in there to where it, it completely exploded the building and burned the building down to the ground. I would like to thank the people from all over the world who don't even know us that dug deep in their pockets in order to rebuild this great no, GW exotic animal alligator facility. Our investigation never did come to anything uh, definitive. So uh, the case is still open now. Uh, again, it's clearly an arson fire. I got great news for you. Like Joe and Son returns to there. We're going to expose the lies, the corruption, and we are that building contained computers that held information that we were seeking. I suspect that Joe was responsible for having someone burn down the building, but I have no first-hand knowledge and I can't prove it. How much has this cost you, this lawsuit between you and Joe? Uh, we've spent over a million dollars in legal fees. You're kidding. Is it worth it? Well, if this were a purely commercial situation, it wouldn't. You'd say, this is not economic, but this is mm -hmm. part of our mission oh, to put a stop to this. And we're not going to allow him to abuse the system and wear us out and cause us to go away and succeed at that. You know, if you've got the money, if you've mm -hmm. got the money, you usually find yourself on the right side. She's got deep pockets. I don't know if she wants the facility or she wants the facility shut down. But anyway, you look at it. She wants to take over the zoo. 
When Joe pretty much maxed out all the credit cards is when he asked me if I wanted to put the zoo into my name. And at the time, it sounded like a good idea. I'm John Finley, and I'm the president of the GW Zoo. Three, two, one. Hi, I'm John Finley, and I'm the president of the GW GW Zoo. It's real simple. I don't. They've done so many transfers and quick claim deeds, you can't, no one can keep track of it, not even an attorney. You can go down to the courthouse and ask, if you just say the last name is drivable, they just take a deep breath and look at you. Joe kept thinking if he changed the name, it would just derail him and derail him. Well, it didn't. They just moved it to another lawsuit. Carol Baskin's lawyers are vicious, and they go after anybody involved. She sued me also, because I was at the zoo. It was in the works that I was going to be sued at the same time. So everybody that had been involved all got drugged into court. Joe's parents, Francis and Shirley, their name, Shirley's name is on everything. The trailers, the water bill, the electric bill, the cable, you know, cable bills. Through the proceedings oh. about the land and fraudulent transfer to his mother, the bankruptcy trustee went after her. She sues my mom for illegal transfer of assets. Yeah. Okay, and mom dumps hundreds of thousands of dollars in there defending herself. Instead of being in a tiger cage today, I'm in the downtown area of Oklahoma City. Thanks to Carol Baskin of dragging us all out of bed this morning and sticking my mom at the very top of that building right there in order to fuck with her using a federal court in order to do that. Between the park and the lawsuit, mom ran out of money. No. Carol bankrupted him. Hello, good afternoon to everybody in the nation. I want to thank you with my whole heart for all the support and help you have done to get me and my husband out of the mess we were in with this attorney. They come banging on my door with the sheriff and demanding the whole sum of money or else they were going to come in and confiscate all the furniture right then and there. And I know from the bottom of my heart, Carol Baskin down in Florida is behind a lot of this because she's been harassing us right along with Joe for years because she's so greedy and she's so jealous of what he has made of his animal park when hers is nothing. It's mom paid for this attorney. That's every phone call, mom, I need some money for this. Like 300 something. I went down to the courthouse and got a, one, a copy of one of the deeds and I said, Grandma, are you, are you aware that this happened? And she said, well, he shoved a paper in front of me and told me to sign it. I didn't think anything of it. I be Joe Drake drive. Yeah. And I told Joe, how are you going to make money? How are you going to make money? How are you going to make money? He didn't have any other way to make money other than cut that. So he had to breed. Pushing on out. You need to be filming her ass. You see that stuff come out with that camera. Zoom in on her ass. At that point, Joe was really desperate. He was going to lose his zip. Carol was going to take it. She's paying hard. I know she's paying hard, but she's having a cut. You'll see. Watch her ass. Give me a whole cut. Give me a whole cut. Addie, there's a towel in my car. Go get Everything's all right. Everybody calm down. You'll be all right. Y'all just do what you're supposed to do. It still costs sixty to seventy thousand dollars a month just to feed all these animals. 